Hi everyone. Welcome to Echo Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us learn an interesting topic that is utility analysis. In this we are going to discuss law of diminishing marginal utility. Let us start with the approaches to study the consumer behavior. Here we understand how consumer is going to spend his limited income on different goods and services. Economists call this as a problem of choice. Every individual has to make a choice because he has to satisfy his unlimited wants with a limited resources. Individual choice mainly depends on two things. One is consumer's preference. Another one is what consumer can offer to buy. What consumer can offer to buy depends on price of the good and income of the consumer. Dear students, there are two approaches to study the consumer behavior. They are ordinal utility analysis and cardinal utility analysis. What do you mean by ordinal utility analysis? If utility is expressed in terms of ranks or preference like first rank, second rank, third rank, then it is known as ordinal utility analysis. What do you mean by cardinal utility analysis? When utility is measured and compared in terms of cardinal numbers like 1, 2, 3 and so on, then it is called as cardinal utility analysis. It was given by Alfred Marshall and A.C. Pigo. The utility is expressed in terms of utils. Now let us discuss what is utility. Utility refers to want satisfying power of a commodity or service. That means a commodity has a power or capacity to satisfy human wants. Take an example of a person who is very thirsty. When he is going to have a glass of water, then that water has a power to quench his thirsty. That power itself we call it as utility. Now let us discuss two important concepts that is total utility and marginal utility. Total utility, it is an aggregate utility derived by a consumer by consuming all the units of commodities. Total utility refers to utility derived from all the commodities. Utility, total utility can be expressed as Tu equals Utility derived from first unit, utility derived from second unit, utility derived from third unit and so on. Or you can write a total utility is equal to summation of marginal utility too. What is marginal utility? It is an additional utility derived by a consumer by consuming additional unit of commodity. It deals with a single unit. See. Symbolically, we can write a marginal utility n equals total utility n minus total utility n minus 1. Now, let us discuss the difference between total utility and marginal utility. Total utility, it is the aggregate utility derived by a consumer by consuming all the units marginal utility refers to additional utility derived by a consumer by consuming additional unit. It deals with uh, all the units that is a uh, utility derived from all the units. It represents a uh, utility derived from a single unit. So, symbolically you can express Tu equals U1 plus U2 plus U3 plus U4 and so on. Symbolically you can write a marginal utility or formula for marginal utility m u n equals t u n minus t u n minus 1. Total utility will never become a negative but marginal utility may become negative. Now let us discuss the law of diminishing marginal utility. It is most important law of cardinal utility analysis. It was given by German economist H. H. Gosen. 
It is also known as Gosen's first law. Later it was developed and popularized by Alfred Marshall. Let us understand the meaning of law of diminishing marginal utility. It states that as more and more unit of commodity are consumed, the marginal utility derived from every additional unit must decline. That means when you are going to consume more and more unit of commodity, the utility derived from successive unit is going to decrease. So here you can see marginal utility diminishes with the increase in the consumption of commodity. You can see in the diagram marginal utility has a negative slope, downward slope. As consumption of unit of commodity increases, the marginal utility is sloping downwards or diminishing. As it happens in respect of all goods and services, it is known as fundamental law of satisfaction or fundamental psychological law. Let us discuss few assumptions of law of diminishing marginal utility. The first one is rational consumer. Rational consumer is a consumer who is able to calculate the utility that he can derive when he is going to consume a commodity. Then what is reasonable size? When we are going to conduct law of diminishing marginal utility experiment, when you take a commodity or unit of consumption, the unit of consumption must be a reasonable size. For example, if you take an apple means complete one apple you have to consider not a pieces of apple. The third one is price of the good and income of the consumer should remain constant. If the price of good increases, then psychologically consumer may think that the quality of product is increased, so utility may increase. In the same way, if a consumer is paying 20 rupees for a product when his income was 500, now his income decreases to 100 rupees, then he may have greater utility in 20 rupees when his income dropped to 100 rupees. Then he may get a higher utility from product A. Then identical units. When you take a number of apples, 10 apples, all 10 apples should have same size, color, taste, everything should be same. It should be identical. That means homogeneous product. The taste and preference of the consumer should remain constant. Throughout our experiment, the taste and preference of the consumer should remain constant. Utility can be measured in terms of uh, cardinal numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. No time gap. It means that when we are conducting experiment, the consumption should continuous that means consumption should go on without any time gap let us understand law of diminishing marginal utility with the help of a table in the table you can see number of mangoes consumed total utility and marginal utility when a person goes on consuming a commodity one after the other the utility derived from each successive unit is keep on decreasing. When he consumes a first mango, utility derived is 12. When he consumes a second unit of mango, utility derived is 6 which is lesser than the first unit of mango. When he consumes a third unit of mango, the utility derived is 4 which is lesser than the second one, second unit. So, the marginal utility is keep on decreasing. When he consumes a fifth mango, the utility derived is zero. When he consumes a sixth one, the utility derived from sixth unit of mango is minus two. So, as a person goes on consuming a commodity without any time gap, the utility derived from 
each successive unit is diminishing. Now you can see the total utility. Total utility no doubt it is increasing but it is increasing at a diminishing rate because total utility is a summation of marginal utility. Each time you are adding as the consumption of mangoes increases total utility is increasing but each time what increase is taking place is diminishing because total utility is a summation of marginal utility. See 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, 18 plus 4 is 22, 22 plus 2 is 24, 24 plus 0 is 24, 24 minus 2 is 22. So each time what you are adding it is diminishing that is why we call total utility increases at a decreasing rate or at a diminishing rate. Let us understand with the help with the help of a table we can understand the relationship between total utility and marginal utility. As consumption of mangoes increases total utility increases but marginal utility decreases. Initially you can see marginal utility from the first unit of consumption is highest but total utility will be minimum. As consumption of mangoes increases total utility increases but marginal utility decreases. When marginal utility is zero total utility will be at its maximum. When marginal utility becomes negative total utility starts decreasing. You can see in the diagram number of mangoes consumed as measured on x axis and marginal utility and total utility is measured on y axis. You can see marginal utility as number of mangoes consumed increases marginal utility is keep on decreasing. But Total utility is increasing but it is increasing at a decreasing rate. It is increasing at a decreasing rate. When marginal utility is 0, total utility will be at its maximum. When marginal utility becomes negative, total utility starts decreasing. When marginal utility is 0, the consumer has satiety that means he is able to satisfy his want and he is going to get a maximum satisfaction by consuming a fifth unit of mango. So consumer has reached saturation point. Let us understand the relationship between total utility and marginal utility with the help of a diagram. You can see in the diagram both the total utility and marginal utility is 12 but marginal utility is maximum but total utility is minimum. As number of units consumed increases marginal utility decreases but total utility is increasing. Total utility continued to rise till the marginal utility is positive till the fifth unit total utility will be increasing because till fifth unit marginal utility will be positive. When marginal utility is zero total utility will be at its maximum. When marginal utility becomes negative total utility starts decreasing. Let us discuss limitations of LDMU. The basic limitation is utility cannot be measured in cardinal numbers as it is a subjective concept. LDMU is not applicable to money. If a person earns more and more money or if he gets more and more money, utility will never decrease, utility will increase. And even it is not applicable to knowledge. When a person gains more and more knowledge, utility is going to increase, utility will never decrease. Dear students, next topic will be 
ordinal utility analysis dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you